Hey everybody, it's B2, talking about some Clicker Heroes today, and yep, we are very close to um, to getting ready to ascend again, but I am just keep getting uh, extra levels here, and we've got our cooldowns pretty far uh, down, so we can get some really good resets on them and, uh, and push through to some higher levels, so we're kind of getting set up for a late stage run, uh, even though we're down in the 4400s, like this will probably go until about 5000-ish, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, and ascend. You can tell that it's all it's all crit damage that's here, because it's like it'll go it'll pause, pause, and then bam, it'll crit it out. You can see it just keeps rolling. So um, until that crit damage can no longer put out that much DPS, uh, we're gonna keep rolling with it though. So uh, so what I'd look for in the next is um, a did bail here, and he's pretty high up there. But I can if I queued him in. I'm going to be able to queue him up some more, even though he's at like 10 million in levels. We're probably going to go ahead and put him up a little bit more and put a little bit into uh, Argive. Argive is pretty jacked up, and that's why this crit damage. See, he's at 30 million, and Bale is at 10 million. So uh, we definitely want to upgrade Bale next and give him that, that other big, big, big crit damage effect, uh, which is a great help long term. So, so what are we going to talk about today? And um, and I just thought that I would sit and talk about clans and uh, immortals and things like that, just simply because I think that's where everybody wants to be a part of something. Everybody wants to jump in, um, and it does help. Like the immortals, we've we've started working ours back up again in level. It's only eighty four uh, after the, our reset. We were up in the two hundreds. It was kind. Of, it's just crazy. But uh, we're I'm starting to pull it just at my level. I'm starting to pull one hundred eighty one trillion souls just at level eighty four. So uh, as that goes up each day that that collected bottom total will get bigger and bigger and bigger based on our reset so i take uh, all of my gilded heroes here and what i do is i take them in and you know i go i go tree beast in the beginning all the way up and then i come down and i go to wep wet i don't mess around with anything in the middle i don't waste the time because it's just not needed the way i run the game uh, especially in that idle auto click spec that we're in so uh, what i would do is i would just hit gilded and you can see they got all these random ones that you get for for getting this this level bonus here and unlocking the next 10 so what i do is i go down to gilded and i just go to weapon and i spec it all into him because i've got all of my damage tied into weapon he is my damn my main damage dealer right now um you can check the difference like okay let's see if i was just stay at tree beast here we're at uh you know basically 2.3 eo7 so if i went down and i hit guild 2.3 eo7 it goes to 298, right? So, okay, we'll be to, well, what about going to um, Astria? Let's let's upgrade Astria all the way. And we're going to go from 298, so let's find Astria on here. Because people ask me what's the difference in damage all the time, right? So let's spec them all into Astria. 307, see, it's only 304. So we're still ahead that way. Okay, well, B2, what about, you know what, man? The Death Knight is awesome. Let's do the Death Knight. Okay, so let's go to Gilded. We'll find the old Death Knight or Dread Knight and pump it in. He goes on a 299, so he's not the deal. Okay, well, well, okay, well, Frostleaf can get some big damage. Let's let's put out to 10,000, which is going to be the next big jump, and let's go in here to Gilded. Let's go to Frostleaf, and let's let's try him out. What does he rank at? 299. He's still bad. So let's go back down to Weppelwet, and I'll show you. We're going to put all the guilds back into him. Bang, 307. So actually, uh, the the Dread Knight wasn't too far off, right? So if we go to Gilded and we go to Dread Knight, because he was 307. Nope, he was 299. Hmm. So was it Tree Beast? I think it was Tree Beast. Let's put them all back in the Tree Beast again. Nope, 299. Hmm. Yep, so we're going to just spec them all back into Weapon Wet and let it roll, basically. So there we go. Um... Yep, 307. And it's just going to get bigger and bigger as he see now this gold is starting to catch up. And bang, now he's back up again. And if you look at 3264, the next treasure chest we get. So we're looking at click damage being 49311. And it's going to take a treasure chest to get this gold collected back up. Because even the gold on the quest now is just, is just insignificant. Um, so here we go. We need five more levels and we're, we'll check the damage out. And each level, he clicks up further and further. Look at that. And that's based on this here, which is Juggernaut. That's the combo for Juggernaut is having a big effect on overall DPS. 
because we've really pushed him up higher, higher, and higher. And that's what's allowing us to keep going. Basically, it's not these guilds that are up here; these help. It's the 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 current X factor we get from Juggernaut. So we're looking for another one to hit on Wepowet. And I'm going to show you Juggernaut just because I really believe he's one of the best to get. Okay, so there we go. Boom, we went to 2.18E312, 2 which was a, a, a basically a times four in DPS. So you can see how this just kind of spirals on its own. I don't even have to really keep up with this. But I go back in here, we've got three more to put down to 559, which goes into this bonus damage at the bottom. You see Gilded Bonus 559 at 33.5 million percent damage. So 33 billion percent increase in damage out of Wepowet. And that's what allows you to keep going and spiral. So let's look at Juggernaut down here. Where is the old Jughead? Here he is. And uh, and see, he's only got 202,000 upgrades, but look, he's got a 2,000 increase in DPS percent per click. That's per click. So if I go in here, I could actually continue to get more and more and more and more and more like you know you see what i'm saying like it just it just ends up continuing to rack this dps up uh, but it's the crit hits that are actually finishing it off so uh, and especially if you let this run all night look at this ten thousand times i mean it's a it's a huge huge increase so uh, so we'll just let this run a little bit more um and then we'll figure this out but i wanted to talk a little bit more about more about the clan uh, and got sidetracked. So um, we look at the amount of damage dealers that are coming in. We had four yesterday. We had, you know, well, a little bit more today. One, two, three, four, five, six. But this is basically how we how we know the rest of our clan is active, right? It's unfair to take a look at our members list and say, you know, um, these these top five people do all the work or whatever. Even though we're not, there's only really one or two people who are going to kill the immortal every day. It's not fair for them just to kill it and and those results go nowhere. So we look for active players, and that's kind of how we judge it, right? So if you want to join B2 games, we actually have one spot open right now, and I can't reserve them. So I just go off the first person who actually uh, watches the entire video and applies. And as long as you're active every day, you can stay in. Uh, we also have a very active chat. You can see like you know we. We, we uh, up to a day ago, two days ago, three days ago, like we, we have a pretty active chat that, that goes back, will answer questions, and there's multiple guys on here who are way, way, way smarter than me. I'm just the YouTube guy, right? So if you get into the clan and it need some help, uh, we'll take any level that, um, except we don't take high levels. Uh, we want to help out some people who are early to mid game. So if you're more than level 5K, somewhere around that range, uh, we probably aren't going to accept the application, not because we don't think you're a great player. It's just that we've run into too many people who want to come in and are level like 50,000. And it's obvious that, uh, you know, they're kind of on their own solo agenda. So uh, if you do want to join, we do have one spot open, guys. I appreciate you watching the upgrade or update, and uh, we'll holla at you. See ya.